Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Floors channel. Today we're going to be going over a topic that is very much talked about in the Cuphead community and everyone wants to know the answer to. How hard is it to 100% Cuphead, aka how hard is it to get the Platinum Trophy in Cuphead, meaning completing all the achievements. Well in this video, I'm going to be going over 5 of the hardest achievements to complete in the game and how to make them easier for you to achieve them. And at the end of the video, we will come to the conclusion of how hard is it really to get the Platinum Trophy in Cuphead. So if you're ready, then I'm ready too. Let's do this. The first achievement we're going over is the Beat the Devil at His Own Game achievement. This this achievement requires you to complete the game all over again, but this time in extra mode, which in my opinion isn't that much harder than regular mode. To all of you that may be struggling with this achievement, let me tell you this. The extra mode version of the bosses are honestly not that different than their normal counterparts. The most that actually changes are the attacks come out faster and some attacks do increase in numbers. But in general, the extra mode versions of the bosses are not that much harder than regular mode versions. But there are some exceptions like Wally Warbles and Grim Matchstick, where in Wally's first phase you can't sit back and dodge the eggshells, and in Grim Matchstick the clouds move in the opposite direction. But these exceptions are only legible for a few of the bosses in the game, but for 95% of the bosses, they play out basically exactly how they do in regular mode, only faster and an increase in numbers. One tip I'll give you is to use either the smoke dash charm, or if you have the DLC, use Miss Chalice since she has a double jump and an invincible roll which makes dodging much easier. So overall, not the hard of an achievement to complete, just an extra challenge for people to do if they want. Next up is a King's Admiration, which is an achievement that requires you to play through and defeat the entire King's Gauntlet. This achievement would be pretty hard to do if your health didn't reset with each boss which in my opinion shouldn't since it allows you to take as much damage as you want and not get punished for it. But overall this achievement is pretty hard if you're not accustomed to parrying or your skill in parrying isn't as high as you would like. My tip is again to use Miss Chalice as she makes parrying much easier as you don't have to time it like Cuphead. And again you get a double jump and an invincible roll and an extra hit point which makes dying much harder. In my opinion I'd say the Rook is probably the hardest boss in the gauntlet. So my tip for this boss is always focus on one head at a time and not multiple. The reason I say this is because people feel like they need to rush these fights when they're not in a time crunch at all so just focus on one head at a time and just take your time with it or you'll end up dying and end up starting all the way back at the ponds again but overall this achievement isn't as bad in regards of difficulty since you get all your health back after each boss and the only issue you may face is with the rook which if you take your time and focus on one head at a time you'll get it done easily now for the third achievement in the top five list we have bravo zulu p26 which can be really easy or really hard depending on which boss you try to do this with let me explain this achievement requires you to defeat a boss by only using the mini plane bullets so if you go through the entirety of a boss as a mini plane and use the regular bullets by accident you don't get the achievement so first let's talk about the easiest option and then the hardest option in order to get this achievement so the easiest option to get this achievement is to defeat fear lap also know that the skeleton horse is part of king dice's roster of bosses that you face when you land on space six the reason why this is the easiest option is because it's the shortest plane boss in the entire game and it only has two attacks which is the present and the ghost rider which attacks you once it gets directly below you which is pretty easy to dodge i know most of you probably didn't know that this boss counted or just totally forgot the boss existed so yeah here you go and now for the harder option to complete this achievement with which is every other plane level in this game literally if you try to do this achievement with any other boss in this game you're gonna be in for a challenge because every other plane fight in this game has multiple phases to them and every plane fight actually has more health than any other ground boss in the game and since the mini plane bullets do half the damage the regular bullets do you're gonna be in for a long boss fight so the best way to complete this challenge is to defeat fear lap which only takes a couple minutes versus wasting hours trying to defeat a regular boss unless you really want the challenge then go ahead but don't say i didn't warn you now for the fourth achievement on this list which is none other than the paladin achievement which requires you to unlock the divine relic if you guys didn't know there's an overpowered item within this game known as the divine relic which isn't purchasable but unlockable by beating a certain amount of bosses with the cursed relic equipped which starts to change as you beat more bosses but the challenge of using the divine relic is that within the fights it sets you at one hp at the start of the fight and changes the shot that you have every time you stop shooting the reason why this is so hard is definitely because of the fact that you have 1 HP in the fight, but this can be easily avoided by pairing in the fight in which you can gain HP as the Curse Relic gives you access to a multitude of charms as well, that including the Heart Ring which gives you 1 HP at your 1st, 3rd and 6th parry in the fight. So overall this achievement isn't as bad as everyone thinks it is, cause you can just fight the first Owl bosses and then 4 out of the 5 bosses in Inkwell Owl 2 and you'll get the Divine Relic in no time. Unless you're really bad at the Inkwell Owl 2 bosses then it might take you forever. But enough about that because we're at our final achievement in this top 5 list and to no one's surprise it is the pacifist achievement. Yes, you heard that correctly. The pacifist achievement, which is in my opinion the hardest achievement to complete in the entire game, and is probably what makes getting the platinum trophy in Cuphead so hard. For those unaware, in order to complete the pacifist achievement, you need to go through every single running gun in the game without killing a single enemy. This requires you to use several different strategies within the game, such as using the smoke bomb to avoid enemies, which sometimes doesn't go to plan, go through intense bullet hell sections, and using a creative parry to get past the acorn maker. But overall, this achievement is extremely difficult as you can already die really easily easily 
within the running guns when you're allowed to shoot. So if you can't shoot at all and sometimes have the off chance of the smoke bomb not going to plan, it can make this achievement devilishly difficult to get through. And all for what? A black and white filter? Okay man, how about you try doing it yourself you semi-aquatic turtle looking mother but yeah, that's gonna be it for this list. Now begs the question, is it really that hard to get the Platinum Trophy in Cuphead? Well, yes and no, depending on your skill level. If you have a good grasp on the mechanics and have hours of experience in the game, it won't be hard at all. But if it's your first time going through all the achievements and you've only been the game once, then you're gonna be in for a little bit of a challenge. But let me know in the comments what your top 5 hardest Cuphead achievements are, and let me know how long it took you to complete all the achievements in Cuphead. Also, please don't come at me if something you think is hard isn't on the list because this is all my opinion. So I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you all in the next video.